Second, in terms of at-risk Americans, older Americans and people with disabilities, they need the benefit of home and community-based services. Again, the Republican bill proposed by the majority here in the Senate doesn't mention Medicaid. Uh, in order to attack the nursing home issue, uh, the nursing home uh, death problem, uh, or to invest in home and community-based services, we need to invest in Medicaid. We must stabilize and strengthen home and community-based services to keep older adults and people with disabilities both safe and healthy. And to do that, you have to pay the workers more. Uh, the workers should be paid a living wage, and those workers, when they're going into a home to provide that critical care, should be provided the personal protective equipment that they need to keep themselves safe, but also that person with a disability uh, or a senior needs if someone's coming into their home. Without sufficient dollars, human service organizations cannot recruit and retain the direct service or I should say the direct support professionals and personal care attendants who provide essential health care and community inclusion services for seniors and people with disabilities. Just one example among many of a, a picture, an enlarged picture of Marissa. She's from uh, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania. And you can see by the picture, and you may not be able to see it from a distance, but on the T-shirt the she has is proud to be your neighbor, and just bear, you can barely read the word giant, eagle. That's one of the great um, supermarket chains in southwestern Pennsylvania. But Marissa uses home and community-based services to live independently. She's a volunteer at a food pantry, and as I said, she works at one of the giant eagle grocery stores, and she's done that work for 19 years. Uh, all these years later, uh, she is one of the beneficiaries of this program where she can get uh, services uh, in, in the home and in her community. The key to this is without dedicated dollars, agencies like Achieva, one of the many agencies that does this work, that provides such services, these agencies will not be able to provide services that people with disabilities like Marissa and, and uh, families like hers need. Pennsylvania, like many states, has uh, so-called Centers for Independent Living. They told me just last week in a phone call that helping people move from a nursing home or a congregate care setting, where often the risk is higher with the virus, uh, moving people from that setting who want to go into a home or, or an apartment, uh, often their ability to move those people is fully dependent upon the dollars that they have, the funding that they have. They've been able to move some people, but very, very few, because they don't have the funding to move them. Another implication of this concern we have is that direct service providers have scaled back these services. Most don't have enough cash reserve for longer than a month. Just imagine that, because of the lack of funding. Now, I introduced a bill four months ago, Senate Bill 3544, 3544, which provided dedicated dollars to respond, uh, but it wasn't until the HEROES Act passed by the House, not yet passed by the Senate, uh, but, but passed by the House 10 weeks ago, included provisions of my bill, which was supported here in the Senate by 27 senators.